you are welcome to my channel in this tutorial we are to construct angle 165 degree the first thing you should do is that you draw your horizontal line this way you can see that now you pick a point on that line let's say i am picking this point point what let's call it point a right now the next thing i'll do is if i use my c square if my c square is standing on my t square this way the vertical line that i'm going to draw from here will be what 90 so this is the angle what angle 90 so we are going anti-clockwise so if this is zero degree this will be what 90 degree right now aside that from this point to this point we are saying it should be another 90 degree if from here to here is 90 from here also to here is what is 90 so if i take my c square and i place it on my t square if i draw a line in this manner this side of my c square is giving us what we we'll call it 30 degree right so that means if here is zero degree automatically here is what is 30 is that okay and if here to here is 30 automatically from here to here is 60 is that okay now so we are saying that this line we are drawing here if we are going anti-clockwise this will be 0 90 and this will be what 60 60 plus 90 is giving us what 100 and what 50 degree so if we are told that we should draw 150 degree is that you use your t-square you're taking this line let me show you for instance if i take my protractor now and to confirm if i'm correct if i place it here this way you see that um this is 90 back to here we're having what 150 you see that we're on track right you can see that closely we're on track 150 now let's move forward now we're looking for 165 now if from here to here is 30 right if i take my compass and i bisect that angle i'll just draw a line this way i'll cut it this way you can see at any given radius so let's say that this point here is my a prime and here is my a prime prime so i'm going to bisect in between a prime and a prime prime when i do that just place your compass at any given radius at a prime you strike an arc at a prime prime you also strike another arc so they are meeting at this point right so if i bisect that point if i draw a line following through that point where they meet let me call it point p if i draw a line going through point p this way this will be half of 30 because from here to here we say it's 30 earlier so if we now bisect it bisect means dividing into two we have in half of 30 which is 15. so this 15 plus this 150 will give us what 100 and what 165 degree so my answer here now is that i am going to take in this line this way from here to here you can see that and i'm going to also take in this one too you can see that so from this point from here let me do that from here straight down to here so if i should use my pencil the angle between this line and this line is giving us what 100 and what 65 degree so we can easily confirm that to see if we are correct right so i'll place it this way and see now you can see that this is on the same line this is 90 you can see the line if you move 90 100 110 120 130 140 150 right 160 and this is what 165 you see that we are perfectly correct so that is how you can construct your angle 100 and what 65 degree 
Now in the next video, we are going to be constructing angle 157.5. So let's see how that will be. Now to construct angle 157.5, what you are going to do is follow the same protocol. You draw an horizontal line this way, right? Horizontal line this way. You pick a point on that line. Let's say I'm picking this point. I'll call it point A, right? Now the aim is one to seven and a half. So if your T square is standing this way on your T square, this is giving us what? As ninety degree. You can see that that line I draw is ninety degree. Now, if I place it this way, this is giving us what? As another thirty degree. Standing on your T square to be what 30 degree. Like I explained in the previous video, this is zero, this is 90, this is to be 50. So we'll make it what 100 and what 50 degree. How did I mean from here to here is 30? Like I construct, I say whenever your C square is like this, this side is 30. So if from here to 30, if you move 30 from 90, that means from this point to this point to the word 60. So let me just show you what I'm trying to say. So from this point to this point, and this point to this point is two different things. From here to here is what 60, and from here to here is what is 30. That's okay now. Now we want to construct 157 and a half. So if I bisect from here to here is 30, if I bisect 30, I'll just place my compass on point A, then I'm going to draw an arc this way. So where they are meeting, let's call it to be A and let's call it to be what B. So place your compass at A with any radius, strike an arc. This is at B with any radius, check another arc. So where they meet, you draw your line that is going to pass through that point here, and we'll be having this this way. You can see that faint line first. Now, if you bisect 30, you divide it into two, you'll be having what 15. So 150 plus 15 will give us 165, right? We all know that very well. Now, in between 165 and 150. Is what is 15 degree now if I bisect 15 degree so let me place it at still so the new point now at this point where it meets let me call it point C so in between C and B I'll bisect place my compass at B strike an arc place it at C also strike another arc so where they meet they're meeting at this point here I'll draw a line that will flow through that point. That line will be half of 15, which is what? 7.5. So I'll not draw it this way. And this line you're seeing is what? 7.5. So 7.5 plus 150 will give you 157.5. What? 0.5. So I'm just going to tick in that line since that is what I need. So I'll tick in it from here to here. This is what we have here. Right? And I'll also tick in this point too. If I want to, you can see that. So that means the angle from this point straight down to this point here is 157.5. Point what? Point five. 157.5, point five, or you see 157 and the half. So that is the angle. So if you want to confirm to see if we are correct, when I place my protractor in this manner, right? So we'll be seeing this. So let's watch and see what is happening. From here, you can see that uh, it's placed well, this is zero on the horizontal line. Moving here, this is 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, right? 155 you can see 156 157.5 here on this line here so this is how you can construct your angle 
157.5 is that okay now now you can click this link to take you to where you can easily buy set and go 67 and a half right or you call it 7.5 and angle what 75 degree so if you have found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share the video thanks for watching